Question 5B. There are 20 women in a box. In a bus. 15 of them wear glasses and 10 wear wrist watches. If a woman is choosing at random from the bus, what is the probability that she wears both glasses and wrist watch? We have this question. And we are to solve this. Now, let's represent this uh, using a Venn diagram. So, let me draw my universal sets or diagram. So, let's say we have two. We have two here. Let me draw it this way. Okay. So, let's say those women that wear glasses let's say glasses for g and uh, wristwatch let's call wristwatch w and my this whole thing is my universal set let me do something like this universal set now from the question there were 20 women so the total 20 women now 15 of them wear glasses so those that wear glasses 15 10 wears uh, wristwatch from the question now the number of women that wear both wristwatch and glasses we don't know that and this is point of intersection the point where the g and the w intersect that is the point representing those that wear both glasses and the wristwatch so once we can find that then we go over to probability so this kind of two question packed in one set is here and probability is also here so we are dealing with the set part of it when we are done with set we move to probability part of the equation so now uh women that wear only glasses so women women that uh, wear only glasses women that wear only only glasses is equals to women that wear glass minus women that wear both glass that wear both glass and uh, watches then women that wear women that wear only the watches only that rigs watch only rigs watch will be equals to 10 10 minus y will be equals to 10 minus y why are we saying minus y because with 10 wears uh, wristwatch which include uh, both those that wear wristwatch and both those that wear wristwatch and glasses so we are trying to separate those that wear only glasses those that wear only wristwatch so those that wear only glasses 15 minus y those that wear only wristwatch 10 minus y now let's sum everything the summation will now be those that wear only glasses that is 15 minus y plus those that wear only watches 10 minus y then those that wear boots plus y everything will be equals to the total number of women which is 20. now we collect like terms and we solve that so that will be 15 okay 15 plus 10 now minus minus one plus minus y plus y we'll remove that so that will be zero so we we'll have minus y equals to 20 equals to 20 now 15 plus 10 is 25 so we have 25 minus y equals to 20 so we have that equals to 20. now our y 
if you make uh, y the subject formula here or let me just write that out so we have minus y equals to 20 minus 25 minus 25 so that we have minus y to be equals to 20 minus 25 will give us minus 5 and our y will be equals to 5 so our y is equals to 5 now this 5 represents the number of women that wear both the glasses and the wrist wash now let's go back to the question what is the probability that that she wears both glasses and wrist wash the woman is choosing at random what probably that she wear both glasses and wrist wash so we have number of women that wear glasses and wrist wash to be five now probability probability of both glasses that is both women that wear glasses and uh, and watches will be equals to now the number of women that wear both glasses and wristwatch is five divide by the total number of women total number of women which is 20 don't forget that for probability the number of required outcome all over the number of possible outcomes so the required outcome is five in this case and the possible outcome total possible outcome is 20 so the total number of uh, women that wear both glasses and wristwatch all over total number of women so if you take this in fraction so you have uh, one over four so that is equals to one over four five would divide seven one five would divide twenty you have four so that is the answer to this question